Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is January 29, 2022. Let's talk about top leveraged and volatility ETF. As you can see here, we got S&P 500, which is SPY, and we got QQQ, again a, a NASDAQ ETF here, and we got Dow Jones Industrial Average, and we got IWM, which is Russell 2000 Small Cap ETF. These all, you know, great ETFs, and they typically do well in the long run. But many investors uh, really, uh, they want something more. They want more oomph. They want more juice. That's why they're not happy with the, these ETFs. They want to double the performance and triple the performance. As you can see here, we got 2x leverage. That will give you twice the performance on a daily basis. We got triple the performance with 3x. And also for the bears, we got minus 1x, minus 2x, and minus 3x. So if you're a bull, you should be looking at this top section here. You can do much, much better than the ETF itself on a daily basis. If you're a bear and you don't like the market, you should be looking at the lower half here. And really, this is like shorting the market. Instead of shorting by taking a margin, you will basically buy these uh, ETFs here. There is no worry about margin. So with that, what we'll do is we'll look at these in little more detail and see what's the best way to play this. Because these are not suitable for all investors. You got to be quick with your hand and you got to um, trade this in and out on a daily or a two day or three day basis, depending on which ETF you're trading. So with that in a nutshell, if you're a bull, you want to go much beyond what ETF is doing. You're not happy with just SPY. Look at SSO and UPRO. Similarly, if you're a bear, you're not happy with the just SPY shorting SPY. Look at SDS, SH, and SPXU. You'll get more oomph when the market comes down. That's it. You know, quickly in a nutshell here. And there are two main companies that offer this ETF. There's a ProShares and there is Direction. And you know, we'll look at what works better depending on what ETF. With that, let's uh, jump in and look into a little more detail. So as you can see here, we got a, a definition here. What is a inverse ETF? A inverse ETF is constructed by using various derivatives. For example, you know, if it's a bear market, they might be sh shorting the ETF itself or they might be buying put option as an example. So that's why it's a derivative. That's why the performance itself is not a long-term performance. It's a daily performance. And these ETFs will hold short positions. Think about, you know, if you want to, you know, short uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average or S&P 500, you could do short by um, selling the sh um, futures contract, or you could short by shorting the actual ETF. You know, these, uh, these uh, leverage ETFs or invest, inverse ETF do the same thing. They will basically hold the short position uh, by borrowing, you know, these securities. Um, and, you know, that's why these are really very, very quick. You got to be quick. Uh, these are daily performance. These, these are not, not typically for long-term holding. And because uh, they're shorting, you know, by shorting, it carries a higher uh, expense. Uh, there is a carrying cost for shorting, as many of you know, because they're frequently trading and borrowing and shorting and buying derivatives and selling derivatives. That's why there's frequent trading. That's why the expenses of these uh, ETFs are really many times more than 1% and sometimes clearly more than uh, 80 or 85% typically 95% to 1% or even more. And these, uh, these ETFs will um, leverage various contracts, futures contracts. And typically when you buy a futures contract, you go into, you need to have a margin account. But you know, these are a little bit better with these ETFs. You don't need to worry about margin, margin itself. And then we got here, you know, you don't require a margin account because you're just buying these ETFs. You can't lose more money than what you put in. But with the typical um, futures contract, as you know, when the future contract goes goes against you, you will lose much more than what you what you put in. So that's why these are safer than future contracts because uh, you will not lose more money than what uh, you bought these uh, ETFs for. 
And then you got your, um, you know, many times despite of this high expense ratio, this could be better than actually shorting the stock itself or buying the futures contract because, uh, you know, there's no, uh, you know, exponential downside risk like a futures contract or even shorting the stock if it goes against you. So that's the quick definition of what, what are these inverse, inverse ETF. And now let's look at what it is not. Clearly, inverse ETF is not for uh, long-term investments. You got to be very quick because these are daily performance of the corresponding ETF. These are not a long-term trading vehicles. And there is no guarantee that uh, these inverse ETFs will match the long-term performance of the ETF or stocks they're holding. That's why this is clearly a short-term uh, investment. And, uh, you know, there are ways to play this. You know, I, I do it many times depending on how the market is doing. But it's not really for uh, long-term investment. You got to be quick. You got to be decisive. You have to decide when you want to go into this and when you have to get out of this. So with that, let's uh, go in and look at, uh, you know, quick uh, market here. As you can see here, we got the market. Look, S&P 500 is a five-year uh, five chart here, all the, all the way from 2017 till right now, which is uh, 124. As you see here, market comes up and down. Sometimes it comes down, as you can see here, coming down, coming down. This is the, this is the bear market during the COVID-19 uh, time frame here. And now it's starting to trend down, as you can see here. So when these things happen, look what's going on here. Look, we got skew here, which is one of the favorite indicators that I uh, use all the time. Skew is coming down here. Skew is all the way high. That means market is going to fall off the cliff. You know, clearly market uh, went off the cliff here. Skew will typically give, typically give you a heads up. Hey, something's coming here. Look, same thing happened here. Skew went high, high, high. Uh, I sorry, skew went high here, and then clearly market came down, and skew came down also. Similarly, skew is a very good uh, indicator. The reason I'm bringing up skew is, you know, by looking at the skew, you'll get an idea what ETF uh, leverage ETF you should buy. For example, you know, when uh, skew is going high, high, high like this. You should be looking at a short, shorting the you know inverse ETF. So you can buy some position in the inverse ETF, or if you are savvy with the put options, you could buy some put options here. But if the market already tanked big time here, you should buy a 3x bull ETF or a double X bull ETF. You'll do very well. So that's how you should, you should have a you know, good idea by looking at the skew. What ETF you want to buy? You want to buy inverse ETF. Uh, that should be the case up here. But when you're here, you don't buy inverse uh, inverse ETF. Instead, buy a 3x leverage bull ETF or a 2x leverage bull ETF or your favorite stock. That's why it pays uh, it pays money to watch the skew and use it as a fundamental uh, parameter as you buy uh, or sell this uh, leveraged ETF. That will pay you very well. Then finally, you should also look at the uh, VIX itself. Look. Wix shot up big time here, and Wix was doing nothing. You know, this is a big problem here, as you can see. You know, typically the long-term bears, they hardly make money. And long-term bears, they will uh, they will always make money only during these black swan type events. Look, nobody predicted uh, this whole COVID-19. When COVID-19 happened, there's a big black swan for these uh, short sellers. They made big money. That's why normally if you're a short seller or if you're an inverse ETF buyer, you never make money, but you make money frequently, uh, big time. That's, you know, only frequently you'll make money, but when you make money, you make it big time. That's why it's always good to look at the skew here and buy this uh, leveraged ETF or sell them according to how skew is uh, doing. Uh, that's the best way to really, uh, you know, position yourself. So that way, you know, you don't, you don't buy a, a bear ETF or an inverse ETF, you know, when the market is really doing, you know, this to you, you, you not make any money, you lose all your money. Instead, if you buy, you know, a ETF, bear ETF or a triple leverage uh, inverse ETF over here, you made good money. That's why it pays attention to look at the SKU, look at the VIX and, you know, tailor your uh, trading, um, especially these, uh, you know, leverage ETF 
that will do very well. So with that, let's uh, go into fear and greed. This is other way to look at it. As you see here, uh, greed, um, extreme, extreme greed. And we got here, you know, more greed here, greed. So whenever you see this uh, greed here, the moment this uh, fear and greed goes over 80, you can be sure that you can um, you can basically buy some triple inverse ETF or an inverse ETF because there is a good chance you'll make money and market will fall off as you can see here. But instead, um, if the market is over here right now, as you can see here, if the market is below 20 or even below 30 for that matter, so at this time, uh, don't buy a inverse uh, inverse ETF. You will not make money. You lose your shirt. Instead, you are better off buying a uh, leverage or a pro or a bear or a bull ETF here, like a double X ETF or a triple X ETF. You are sure because market already dropped big time here. You can buy those, and you will normally get a good. Um, good performance here. Look, market shot up here and market came down here. I'm sure it is going to go higher. So these, these are the times, you know, even though, you know, more many pundits say you have to buy bear, bear, bear market ETF right now or inverse ETF, I would rather wait a little bit. On the down days, I would bull buy this bull ETF versus uh, buying bear ETF right now, given market is uh, trying to come down. So on the bad days, you know, buy this bull ETF, you'll do very well. So with that, let's go in and look at some of these uh, leverage ETFs. As you see here, these are uh, leverage ETF for S&P 500. S&P 500 is mother of all ETF, as you know. It's got very good uh, uh, trading volume. That tells it's got very good uh, liquidity. So look uh, what happened to S&P 500 here. S&P 500 over the long haul here, over 10 year, has done great. 305% performance over 10 year. Um, but many of you, um, they don't uh, really you know, think it's a huge performance. That's why they go into a ETF like a UPRO. UPRO is really a 3x, uh, you know, performance. It's a bull ETF based on um, uh, based on S&P 500. Look what happened to UPRO here on a 10-year basis. They've done 2,400, 2,047% uh, here. And there's expense ratio. Expense ratio for these uh, ETFs, leverage ETFs is much higher as you can see here. S&P 500 expense ratio is just 0.09, hardly anything, whereas a 3x ETF is 0.91. But still, you made money on the long haul because you got a nice 10-year performance here. So, <clears throat> as you can see here, if you're not happy with the, the ETF performance itself, then you got your 2x. 2x you got from uh, ProShares. ProShares is one of my favorite uh, ETF companies, you know, for these type of leverage ETF. Look, you got to watch the volume here. Look at the volume. ProShares uh, 2x, they have done 6 million, um, you know, um, sh uh, volume here. Uh, shares traded or ETF traded here. But look at the direction. Direction is another U ETF company here. Their trading volume is very, very, very low here, especially for this uh, 2x. So this is why you got to look at the volume here and decide what company you want to go with. So for clearly for the 2x leverage, I would you know, handily go to SSO here, which is from ProShares. I would not go to Direction. But if you're looking at 3x, on the 3x side, both are comparable here. Uh, typically, you know, many folks like um, ProShares here, UPRO. UPRO is a 3x from ProShares. Look, nice volume here, 16 um, million shares traded. So it's a you know, good one here. And we got uh, even Direction 3x is also okay here, X SPXL, volume is a tad lower. So typically, I would uh, stick with um, stick with pro shares here when it comes to bull because uh, pro shares uh, clearly is doing pretty well. It's got more more trading volume, more liquidity as you can see here. Clearly, that that will do well. So what typically he makes sense is really when the market falls off the cliff big time, maybe say five, six, seven days continuously. Um, you know, hold your nose and buy some of these. Uh, Triple X, for example, buy some UPRO. And if you want to, if you are not, uh, if you want to buy 2X, that's okay too. You can go with SSO. So this is what you can do when the market continuously drops five days, six days, seven days, eight days, like, like what happened last week. 
you hold your nose and buy some upro and you will do very well as the market bounces back these uh, triple x leverage they will go up nicely and you'll get a nice uh, benefit here so that's that's how we, we should do and uh, i do it many times when the market tanks big time i think that's the way to do it it's look at the price here for s p 500 you pay 441 dollars look for you pro you just pay 60 dollars you know that's the benefit here you get uh, you get to control more shares with the less money so this, this is one way to play i know many folks may be playing options if you're an option geek you could actually buy a call contract even the market tanks big time that's the other way to play that's all also much more, that's also a better way to play here but you, if you're not used to options you could uh, just buy upro when the market tanks continuously for six seven eight nine days and looks like it's never going to end you know buy some upro you'll do very well and on the other hand, when the market is going higher, 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 you're afraid when it's going to fall off. That's when you look at these, um, you know, inverse ETFs, as you can see here. These are all the bear ETF, as you see here. And we got bear, multiple uh, varieties of bear here. You got 1x bear. Uh, this will make you money as market goes down, but uh, 1x times. And you got 2x and 3x, as you can see here. And as you look through here, we've got two companies, as we talked about, that is a ProShares. Look, ProShares has got a nice volume when it comes to 1x. Um, and we've got, uh, we got Direction. Direction volume is tad lower. So here also for S&P 500, um, I would probably go with the uh, ProShares as a you know, steady, stable company. But you, you could be better off here. Uh, look, we got uh, 3x here, SPXU here. It's done great, as you can see here. 32 million contracts traded here. These are all bear. So the, the time to buy the bear uh, ETF is when the market is going higher, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 days. That's when you buy some bear ETF. Typically, market will go up continuously for say, uh, say 10, 11 days, and then it will fall off the cliff and it will go down continu continuously for 10, 11, 12 days and then it will uh, you know then it will start going higher so that's your that's your uh, you know thing to consider you know look at the market if it keeps going higher 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 continuously for say 10 11 12 days you know you buy some bear etf on the other hand if it's down for 11 12 days um, then you buy some bull etf that will serve you very well and now let's look at one more category here, which is NASDAQ, which is one of my favorite. Um, NASDAQ is, has got, uh, you know, more bang for your buck. It goes up and down nicely, as many of you know. Look, NASDAQ has done 544% in 10-year time frame. And you know, many of you are not happy with it. Look, we got uh, uh, TQQQ here. 3x leverage on top of Nasdaq QQQ here. Look at the performance, not too great. 62, uh, you know, 62.875. Um, and then we got here. This this uh, could be a typo. This could be um, much more. I'll double check on that one here. But look at the 2x here. It's done great. Look, it's done um, 2273 percent. So what you will do is same methodology here. You got here both pro from ProShare, nice trading volume. Uh, the way you do it is really, you know, when the market tanks uh, big time continuously, you buy some TQQQ. Uh, so look here, uh, QQQ is uh, $351 here, but TQQQ is just 56.37. That's why, you know, when the market tanks big time, you go buy some uh, QLD or TQQQ and make sure market tanked for, you know, continuously for a couple, you know, a couple of days, maybe 10, 11, 12 days. That's when you buy some QLD. You know, when the market tanks big time, when um, fear is fear is set in the market, that's when you buy these triple uh, uh, X uh, bull ETFs and or double X bull ETF. And similarly, on the bear side, when the market tanks continuously for long, uh, maybe seven, eight, nine, ten days, you can buy some. Um, you know, off, you know, when the market goes higher for continuously for um, seven, eight, nine, ten days, then you buy some um, bear ETF. You are expecting expecting market to fall off here. 
uh, look, uh, the price itself is not much here. Look, it's a low price compared to QQQ here. Uh, this is much safer than shorting the market or buying the futures contract because you don't need to worry about uh, losing more money because you're just buying an ETF. You're not, uh, you know, you're not shorting. You're not buying the future futures contract where you can lose your shirt if the market turns against you. So with that, look here on the long term on this uh, bear uh, bear ETFs, you lost money one year, five year, 10 year, you lost money. That's why these are long, not a long term trading vehicle. Rather, you buy this when the market is uh, you know going gangbusters continuously. You feel like, hey, market has to come down. You know, there's a greed in the market. Everybody's, uh, you know, really greedy. Uh, market is going up every day, chugging high, high, high. That's when you buy some of these uh, ETFs. Not on a, not on a, you know, really, um, you know, not on a really um, a bad day because uh, it's damage is already done. You don't want to buy when, you know, when the market tanks big time. Rather, you buy when the market is high. So with that, let's uh, go into a few more sections here. Look, we got Dow Jones and Russell 2000, as you can see here. Both are great ETF, as many of you know here. But DIA itself, as you can see here, has done 240% over 10 years. Um, you know, many folks are not happy with it. Look what ha happened here. We got 2X and 2X, 3X ETFs here, which are bull ETFs, as you call it. And look what they've done. They have done, they have done great, as you can see here. 2x leverage has done 621 percent 3x leverage has got 1042 percent so as you can see here these are really doing well you know from a volume perspective look tna which is uh, from direction looks like when it comes to dow jones here uh, you know direction is doing very well they got a nice trading volume you could uh, you know go with direction and i think even uh, you dow with the pro shares is also okay but a little bit lower trading volume. But when it comes to Dow Jones, looks like a 3x direction is the way to go here. Um, well, this is not uh, Dow Jones, it's actually Russell 2000, it's a TNA. For Russell 2000, looks like uh, you know uh, direction is the way to go. You can go with the direction ETF TNA. But Dow Jones, you could go with the uh, pro shares here, you Dow as you see here, uh, it's done a good trading volume here. And you say methodology here, when the market tanked big time continuously for a couple of days, maybe 10 days, that's when you buy some of these uh, ETFs here, uh, that will serve you very well. On the other hand, if the market is checking higher, doing great, uh, it's a, there is a greed in the market, that's when you buy these uh, bear market ETFs, um, you will do very well. As an example, when the market jumps up like 5,000 points like we did on Friday, you may be okay to buy a small position in some of these names here because normally the market might be coming down because it's a turbulent market. So that's when you do money here. So look, we got 3X ETF from Direction. Uh, they've done uh, TZA, bear market. They were huge trading volume here. You look at the company, either pro shares or Direction, and if the volume is high, in this case uh, for Russell, go with the Direction. For Dow Jones, you go with the pro shares. That, that's how you're gonna you know, gauge what ETF company to go with. And as usual, keep watching the you know expense ratio here. All these have got higher expense ratio. That's uh, that comes with the territory here. The moment you buy these uh, um, leverage ETF, you get a high expense ratio. Look at TZA here. 1.1 percent expense ratio and same story with the tna both have got high expense ratio because they trade frequently and um, they also hold some sh you know short position especially in case of tza here in case of inverse etf all right then we got a few more here we got volatility etf as many of you know uh, volatility goes up and down a lot of people money make money off of uh, volatility look s p 500 has done uh, great in 10 year uh, as you can see here uh, i think this is a uh, it's a uh, 110 and uh, 3000 it's these two are a little bit uh, uh, not great uh, great numbers i think we should go with the previous numbers that we saw earlier but look here the point is uh, uh, wix is good to buy uh, you know when when the market is too hot for long days long many days here that's when you can buy some wix uh, because uh, you know, there is a chance that volatility will shoot up and you will make money that way. So VIX, as you can see here, 
Uh, it's good when there's a volatility spike in the play. It's hard to know when the volatility spikes, but typically when the market goes high, high, high for a long number of days, that's when there's a chance that VIX, um, you know, will, um, you know, will raise. Uh, so you buy VIX, VIX, VXX, when the volatility is very high, stock market is super hot at the top. And on the volatility side, we got 1.5x here, see here UVXY, and we got here, um, you know, negative um, 0.5x here. So you could buy these names depending on whether you're a bull or a bear. And typically, you know, again, you look at uh, either uh, greed and fear index or look at the uh, uh, skew and decide when to buy. You know, when the skew uh, shoots up higher, that's when you buy things like, you know, VXX here or UVXY uh, on a cheap basis. You don't need to pay too much money at the time. Uh, so that's, that's why I play it and go from there. And now let's look at one more here. Let's look at uh, semiconductors. As you see here, semiconductors, we got two great ETFs, SMH and SOX. Look, both have done great. Look, the performance, uh, five-year, 10-year great performance. But if you're not happy, look what happened to 2X and 3X bull ETF. They've done uh, even better, nice performance with a higher expense ratio, of course. Um, same methodology here if the market uh, tanks big time um, and semiconductor rolls off the bed, that's when you buy these 2x and 3x uh, bull ETF here. That's when you make money. On the other hand, if the, if the semiconductor is going gangbusters, going high continuously for a couple of days, um, there is a greed in the market. That's when you buy these uh, bear market ETFs and the market rolls over, you'll make money but be quick, uh, don't uh, hold this for a long time. You have to watch this on a daily basis. So with that, as you can see here, we got one more biotech. You know, many folks love biotech. Biotechs are very, uh, you know, they will go up and down nicely. As you see here on the biotech side, we have nice, re nice return uh, as you see here. But if you're not happy with the return of, return of XBI itself, which is about 267% in 10 year, uh, look, we got here, uh, we got LABU and we got ProShares BIB here. And, you know, especially BIB has done, you know, pretty much pretty well, as you can see here. It's got a higher expense ratio and volume is low, as you can see here. Whereas LABU, uh, it's got a higher volume, as you see here, um, and a nice good volume, as you can see here. And, you know, we got bear market here, bear market, we got BIS here and LABD. Um, as you can see here with the LABD, it's uh, been doing well as you see here. Um, as X XBI is tanking, you know, on a day by day by day, look, XBI has been tanking. And when that's happening, LABD, which is the three th inverse, 3X inverse, that's been going higher, higher, higher. So that's how, that's what typically happens. Um, you got to understand the direction first. If, if your direction is wrong, you'll make, you lose money with the 3x faster, 2x faster. But if your direction is right, you'll make money. And here it looks like for the biotech, uh, direction is a good one here. Direction has got a lot of volume when it comes to biotech. Look, 4 million and 27 million. So direction, um, you know, company ETFs are way to go when it comes to biotech. And finally, we got a list of all top 20, um, 20 leveraged ETF here. Um, look from a volume perspective, keep, keep a look at volume here. These leveraged ETF trade with nice trading volume. These are very, very, very liquid. And top of the list, we got TQQQ. It's a pro shares ultra QQQ. It's a you know, bullish uh, QQQ, 3X leverage, as many of you uh, noted. Look, um, when the market jumped up on Friday, this one has gone nicely higher. And look, uh, market has been um, market has been uh, you know tanking off late. It also tanked big time, as you can see here. That's why it's a very triple leverage. When the market goes slightly, this goes up nicely. When market falls over, this falls over even quicker. But looks like uh, this has done nicely. I think these uh, numbers are not right. Um, this is uh, probably much, much, much higher. So I think overall, you know, this will do well. It's again a short-term play here, not a long-term play. 
And then got a few more as you can see here. Next two are really volatility ETF, VXX and UVXY. You anticipate volatility. You buy these when the volatility is low, that we don't, don't need to pay too much money. And you make money when the volatility spikes, as you see here. And then we got a few more as you see here. We got uh, QQQ short ETF here, Ultra Pro minus 3x, as you guessed. Look, um, when the market went higher, the short um, went lower. So that's why you know you got to be right on the direction here. If you're wrong on the direction, you can lose money fast. But these are a little more much safer than shorting the market or buying futures because you don't you don't have you don't you don't lose much money than what you put in. Um, whereas in case of futures or shorting, you you can lose much more money. So with that, this is the top 20 leveraged ETF. You know, keep watching it. You know, and uh, be quick if you want to buy this. Like I said, you know, buy one market is uh, if you're if you want to buy um, bull ETF, buy only when market tanks big time. If you want to buy inverse ETF, buy when the market uh, is really super hot for a long couple like two weeks or so. That's when you buy this uh, triple X negative. Uh, triple um, inverse ETF, that's when you make money. So with that, thank you very much. Happy investing and trading. Please subscribe.